Welcome to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. I'm Luigi Fontana, the Scientific Director of the Charles Perkin Center RPA Clinic and Longevity Program of the University of Sydney. So today I was reading this abstract presented at the American Heart Association uh, session 2002 for the um, Ansel Keys Memorial Lecture. So uh, low carb diets. So that's um, the problem. Uh, low carb diet and the risk of type 2 diabetes uh, in US men and women. As you know, there is this new trend, this wave of trend after the Atkin diet, the South Beach diet, the Duncan diet, uh, the paleo diet. More recently, we have the ketogenic diet. That even if some of my followers claim that a ketogenic diet is not a high protein diet, if you Google and you look at a, a ketogenic diet, most of the uh, meal plans uh, encouraging a ketogenic diet comprise lots of animal products with cream, fat, avocado, uh, and other high fat um, foods, but the quantity of animal protein is quite substantial. Anyway, so uh, in this abstract, uh, that is uh, the, uh, the results of the analysis of the nurse health study and the health professional follow up study of Harvard comprising uh, basically 203,541 men and women that have been followed for more than 30 years. The strength of this study that every five years, uh, these uh, participants have filled in a food frequency questionnaire. So it's not, it's not only a baseline, but there are every five years, there are FFTs that have been submitted. So in this particular instance, the, um, the authors, Frank Hu, Kui Soon, uh, from Harvard, they have uh, asked uh, these questions by interrogating this data set. Are low carb diet associated with a higher or lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes? The results are pretty clear the hazard ratio uh, uh, of developing type 2 diabetes is 30% higher in those consuming uh, low carb diets based on this low carb diet score, okay? And this is after uh, uh, correcting for multiple confounding factors. Interestingly, a vegetable-based low-carb diet that emphasized vegetable protein and fat intake was associated with a 6% lower risk of type 2 diabetes. And a healthy low-carb diet score that further the emphasize refined carbs intake was associated with a 15% lower risk of type 2 diabetes. In contrast, low carb diet scores emphasizing high animal protein and fat intake were associated with a 35% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes, okay? Um, and 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 this and, and the risk became even higher when uh, these diets uh, uh, further de-emphasize the use of whole grain in minimally processed whole grains. Okay. 
So basically, just to summarize, low carb diets are not beneficial for the primary prevention of type 2 diabetes unless they emphasize the quality of the macronutrient compositions that should be mostly vegetable-based protein and fat coming from complex fiber-rich carbohydrates, therefore minimally processed whole grains, legumes, nuts, and vegetables. So I hope that you know this video is going to help you to make informed decisions not based on uh, fads promoted by influencers, bloggers, and other people that have a weak understanding of uh, human health, human biology, physiology, and uh, healthy nutrition. Thank you for listening. As always, bye now.